I did not pay $20. I paid 10. And you might be wondering, how did you pay 10 on the first day when it's marked 20? Did you screw someone over? Yes. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I've got a really fun haul video with partly a like sourcing video. So the stuff that I'm about to show you is super fun. It's right up my alley. The thing is, the day that I was out and buying the stuff, I did not have my camera with me, the one I'm filming on. I just had my phone, but I did record a little bit of the experience because the house was like a time capsule. So I wasn't really thinking I was gonna go to that estate sale because I did get a glimpse of the pricing on the uh, the photos on the estatesales.net and I was thinking, boy, this is just not gonna work for me as a reseller. But I decided to go anyway, thought maybe I could find some things and I'm so happy that I did. So let me show you that clip, uh, the clips that I took of the house. Oh my gosh, there's so much amazing stuff here. I've been through this house like 10 times easily. All right. bird pictures. Five. Five and five. These are really pretty. Just a minute. This is so cool. Sparklers. Okay, thanks for stopping in. Isn't this cool? Ten bucks. And then this one is eight. I found the lid. I didn't know it had a lid earlier. Checking this green thing up here though real quick. It's a Holland mold. All right, so that was super fun. Now while I was there, I overheard the person that was running the place talking to someone on the phone who was uh, had some kind of relation with a TV production thing. So they were looking for props. And that house was full of some really fun pieces that would have been great for props. Before I go any further, I do want to mention this thing in the back that uh, I don't want to forget. So it's this really cool, what is it? Oh, it's an, it's an electric fireplace. It's like a cardboard fireplace 
from the 50s or early 60s probably. It's super cool. Here. Um, so there's the photo right there. There she is looking at something. She doesn't look too enthused about it. But she's right there. And there's like these uh, iron, what are they called? And irons right on either side. And uh, it's just super cool. It's made of cardboard. You put it together. And there it is. Now that thing alone was $25. And I spent about $160 for all of the stuff that I'm about to show you quite a lot. Yes, I know. And um, I, the thing is, I was buying really good quality stuff in my opinion. And so I was okay with paying up for it. Now this is the, the sort of stuff that I don't get a chance to come across very much. It's, it's items that are more unique, different. And uh, I actually went to the estate sale hours and hours after it opened so i did miss out on opening like the opening time but i was surprised at how much was still there now it could be that for our local market this stuff that i bought wouldn't have resold very well with the amount of money that you would have to spend for it but um either way i'm really happy with the stuff that i've got so let's start with that item back there the fireplace uh, last year, Barb was really into, and wants one of these still probably, uh, at the local flea market, this right here was put together and was selling for between $40 and $50, I believe. So at $25 with the box, I figured it was a pretty good buy. So I'm going to put this in the booth. I offered to Barb, however, one thing, um, not all of the pieces are there. I think all of the main pieces are there and I've outlined on the little instruction sheet because it has the instructions still, that's nice, what's all included and everything. So I, I opened the whole thing up, figured it out and there's some kind of weird little pieces but as a fireplace visually I think it's all going to be there. It's all there. It's just like weird little parts that you would clip things together with and hold them in place. Um, I'm going to put that in the booth and I don't think I'll have a problem selling it for $40, $50. So that's awesome for that fireplace. Now, I got a lot of salt and pepper shakers, some really fun ones. So if you're a fan of those, get ready. But let me show you something else first. So let's start with this item right here. Now in the shop along video, well, the clips, I don't know if I mentioned this one. I showed it, I think, but I didn't think it was a complete set, meaning I didn't think the lid was included because the lid was tucked off to the side of it and you didn't see it. And this was up on a top shelf. So all I saw was part of, a, part of a pot missing a lid. Well, I took a look at it again. Luckily I did. And I noticed that the lid was off to the side. Turns out the guy took the lid off specifically so that someone didn't try reaching up, pulling off, and then the lid fall. Cause you can't tell it's a flat sort of semi-flushed semi lid. So you can't really tell that it's there. So if somebody pulled that off, it could have went flying. The lid did, could have eight dollars and it's this brown pottery um has the cactus on it and everything it's pretty heavy and on the bottom there is no maker mark or any sort of a stamping in there which is unfortunate for me so i need to do a little bit more research on this specific item but visually just off of the style and everything i think i could um shipping's gonna be a nightmare it's gonna be heavy, I mean. So um, the shipping's gonna cost every bit of $20, every bit of it. So, uh, and I bundle my shipping in. So this is probably going to be a 60, maybe $70 item when it's said and done. All like total package price. And uh, it's just a really cool pot, cookie jar. So um, I think I did a pretty good job with that. It's just unique, let's call it. So. I made sure to buy it. And that's kind of true with all the stuff that I picked. It's the stuff that I don't usually see. Speaking of different, I thought this was just beautiful. It's these bird pictures and you've probably seen them before just when you're out, but I just had to buy them. I was just in the mood. So they were $5 a piece. This one here is of a peacock. It's marked Bastian, B-A-S-T-I-A-N, I believe and um it's a, just a glass picture frame on the back it actually says peacock feather bird from mexico mounted 
and decorated by first name I can't read F Bastian. It's beautiful though and for five dollars I think I could sell this for an easy fifteen dollars. Um, but the shipping, uh, the shipping add another ten to that so about twenty five for that one. However I have two more. Now these two are framed in the same frame so they're, they're more or less a set and they were also five dollars each. Oh here we go Glenn. It's marked better on this one. Glenn F. Bastian. Redbird and Dove. It's strange that they have different frames and the mounting is different. So this is a full, it's full, and then this one is mounted with a mat. As you can see the mat on there. So it's only like say that big. Um, I still think I want, and it looks different. I think I want to put these separately like they are. Uh, they're all painted, hand painted, which is really cool. So this is painted on this uh, board and then you got the bird on there um, and it has this paper backing so this stuff looks like it's from the 60s yeah about mid 60s to me um, really fun they were five dollars each I'm gonna sell them for fifteen dollars each plus that shipping the, the pair of them that match a hundred percent match so what would that be that'd be 30 and another 10 so about forty dollars for the that set and then that other one like i said about 25 for that just that one peacock and i might just hang on to that one peacock because i kind of like peacocks the colors they're just they're they're a really nice color i'm also i do like flamingos too as i'm looking at my flamingo mirror right there i forgot where i bought i bought that mirror i'll insert a tiny clip right here Boop. and i bought that mirror for eight dollars i believe it was at a flea market they did not know what they had. That's a really good mirror and they're, and they're collectible. People like that. It's very kishy. Um, it's older than the kishy time frame though. I think it's a probably, honestly, I don't know. It could be forties or fifties, fifties. Flamingos were very big in the fifties. So I think this is McCoy. It's a, um, a frog and it's a frog, um, pot for flowers so it was five dollars i bought it because i see these things at antique stores sometimes and they're like thirty dollars and i was just at this thing everything looks so great to me i was in the right mood and i said to myself five dollars what a deal i'll buy it. it it i mean it's it's worth like 15 20 dollars plus shipping on a good day so I will put this in my shop for about $25 to $30 with shipping included. It's way too heavy to go first class, so it's gonna be about $10 shipping on this one uh, frog. And they're collectible. There's one eye right there. There's, there's one eye right there. He, he's missing the other eye. So I don't know, and I was thinking, could it be that one eye was open, like sleeping with one eye open? Because there's like this kind of decoration right along the, the lid line where it looks like it could just be closed. I don't think so, but it's just cute. Uh, it has this sort of leaf work on the back of his butt. So really cool. I'll put that in my Etsy shop. I bought this right here. It's Durky, Durky food coloring set. I have seen these little food coloring sets out and about. Um, this is not like the most outstanding one that I've ever found was was five dollars there was another one there that was ten dollars or either to eight or ten dollars it would have been half off the next day but i was there that day and it had better like a better graphic kind of element to it um the food coloring thing it's mostly just for me i uh i remember growing up and my grandma she had food coloring which i'm sure people have food coloring anybody everyone has food coloring but it's one of those things um, I kind of just associate it um, with that. So why did I buy it? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't even have a place to put it. Do I? No, I do not. So what will I do? I don't know. I will, I will probably, maybe, possibly, could be, put it somewhere. Well, I also bought this black glass. It's footed and it was $6. So there's this clay in the bottom of it. Someone had, 
actually when I when I picked it up there was all these like little silk flowers in it that looked really ratty terrible and so I, I brought the whole thing up to the people running it uh, actually she didn't even run it she was just a lady that was doing the, the money and I said how much is this and so she started taking the little rose and said okay you've got one rose two rows like what are you talking about I don't want the roses or the flowers take those out of there um, it was this, the black glass. So uh, it's a footed black glass. There's a tiny chip on the foot, the bottom of the foot. You'll never see it. I'll never see it. I collect this, by the way. I think we all, we all know this. It's this black three-footed glass. And I didn't even look this up. Kind of has this fun try, whatever you want to call that, on the bottom, meets like that. So it's this black glass. Could be Ellie Smith, but it's beautiful. And I'll put that with the rest of my black depression glass. I'm saving the salt. No, I'm not. I'm not going to save them. I'm going to show you right now. So I've got this wonderful pair of elephants. Elephants are a great seller, seller for me. They're a great seller. And these were $3, I believe. Some of these were pretty good prices. Some of them were not so great prices. But I dealt with it. So we've got these wonderful elephants. And look at the trunks like how ornate and like sculptural they are they're very interesting looking and they're marked japan so uh elephants i sell them really well they're a very popular element and, and item so three dollars not a bad price at all i will put about 24 dollars about 24 dollars with shipping included on these right here and they're just super oh she's wearing like a little tutu <laughs> And he's wearing a pair of shorts. That is adorable. He's like a little, she has a bow, he has a top hat kind of a thing. That's just too much. Mm. I did buy some fish. Now these fish were $3. Okay, $3 fish. They are marked Japan, of course. And we've got a brown one and this blue one. They are so pretty. So tropical, so kishy, so 1950s. I will sell these for about about the same cost as the elephants. Those are just really pretty and they're in great shape. Yes, the zebras. These are cute. So um, the here, I'll just show you. So the zebra things, I don't usually find a lot of zebra items. So for that reason, I decided to buy these because I figure if you collect them, they're not the easiest animal to find. Whenever we're talking about this Kishi Japan stuff, I don't come across zebra items very often. So I paid $3 for these. Not a bad price, really. I'm going to sell them for about $24 with shipping included as well. Um, they're just really good. No chips or cracks on any of these, by the way, which is a prerequisite for me on salt and peppers for the most part. So let me show you something that's more expensive. And... I was surprised and shocked that I bought it because I'm just a very cheap person now. I am not cheap, I'm just cost conscious. So I've got this wonderful bulldog with a top hat on, the cutest little thing ever. I think he's ready for the circus. So he's got his carnival cane and he's his satchel and he's on a ball. So this was $10. Beautiful though. Oh, it has a cloak. Hey now, what were we just talking about in the last video? This is this clover, the clover with the wreath, which means it is Nippon. Or it's like, is it Shoyo or Froyo? Fro is it Sho Sh Shatsu? It's, it's, I'll write it right below again. I believe that's what this is. And so, um, it has a collectible market just because of that, I think. But secondly, it's adorable. Oh my gosh, ten dollars? Yeah, I paid that. Um, it would have been five if I would if I waited a day, but I wasn't going to go back. So, ten dollars is okay. I'm going to sell this for about thirty, with shipping included. It's just very unique, very cool. So if you collect circus stuff, if you collect dog items, if you collect this specific dog hit all those nails these again kind of on the circus idea seals seals with their little balls 
That is adorable. So I definitely bought these because it's another animal that you don't see often. So if they're made in Japan, they were $5. We're getting there. See, $5 starting to be like, no, we don't want to pay that. But these are different. So I decided to buy them. And I, again, I think these can get about $28 with shipping included. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and I talk about it before, but the shipping on that goes first class for the most part. So that's under $5 that will have to be taken out of that number for me and my profit. If you're just kind of wondering, well, what are you going to end up with making? Um, yeah, it's about that 20, $25 in profit somewhere in there. Penguins again, another item. And these are different looking penguins. They're, they're sort of, they're something, aren't they? They have a, just a different look, right? They something about them. So these were $3. It might be the cold painted paint on them. Cold painted because they're painted over the glaze. Usually we see it with red. In this case, I think it's all the colors. It's black for sure because it's kind of a little chippy on his backside. But again, I don't think I'll have any problem $24 to $28 for those penguins. I do need to look these up to make sure. I'm kind of just going off of what I'm thinking. But... Um, Pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm on the money with those donkeys again now I don't know if they're donkeys or the other word but either way Japan very cool look at those like they're like little they look like miniature donkeys don't they oh my goodness those are adorable three dollars and I will sell those for probably about twenty four dollars yeah about so we've got the um, giraffes, giraffes, giraffes. We never see giraffes. I never do. Japan, mid-century giraffe figurines, or salt and peppers. <laughs> These are super fun, amazing. I love the expression, the, the animated style they decided to do with that. It just, they look so cool. So uh, these could be as much as 30, plus, uh, 30 with shipping included on those i just i never see drafts i don't so take it how you want to take it elephants a couple more so this set is very interesting they have like the little blanket along the back there and they're both balancing on these fun balls here they're so happy they're like yay we're playing elephants are so playful um, I used to think that squirrels were playful. Have you ever noticed how they um, look like they're chasing each other up and around trees? I'm like, wow, these animals, they just, they just have such a life. Well, I looked it up and as far as I know, most of the time when you see them chase each other is for territory. It has nothing to do with how fun they are. They're not playing tag. So yeah, they have territories on the trees. So did not realize that. Elephants, on the other hand, they're just happy to play with their ball. They're just happy to play. So $3 as a set, very cute. Those will be, <laughs> those will sell for about 24, um, about $24 with free shipping, shipping included. These here are wonderful Kishi pineapples and they are also marked Japan. I love these, they're very generic. They're like, they're not of an animal, so they're fruit. Who does not like fruit? This is just, they had two of these. One of them had a chip, I just left the other one. It's strange that they had two identical ones just like this because I've never seen this configuration before. Certainly I've seen them with pineapples and things, but no, not this kind. This almost has a Majolica look to it, which is a lead or a tin glaze effect, basically. This metallic-y kind of weird shimmery thing. Um, but it's Japan, so yeah, they're very unique. These, I don't, mm, 24, 26, 24, with shipping included. They're very cool. Mark Japan, like all of those are. I'm going to show you the last set in just a minute. The very best set. The very best. So uh, before those, I've got this set here of fish. $5 I paid for these fish, but they're a good size fish. And Fish items sell. These are really pretty. I'm not up on my fishes. Fish? I'm not up on my fish. 
is it floral or well it's just a really wonderful set here and the red color it's like a trout or yeah sure they're just really fun so about 24 dollars 24 dollars $24 with, $24 with shipping included. The best set ever made in the world and history of mankind is right here. Oh, you're going to hate them, I bet. No, you're not. So let me take them off. No, I don't want to because you have to see the whole thing. I just don't drop them. Right here. These are the most cutest things I have seen in a long time. They are, I'm not sure what they are. I think there's, what are those things? Okay, so I don't actually know what they are. I just know that they're really cute and they're hanging on to this tree for dear life. So it is the cutest. I did not look this up. I tried, I think, to look it up. Let me see. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. So this is actually the same company with the clover. Okay, that's gonna help me out. So I will use it as a starting point. It has the clover, the three leaf clover with the laurel wreath around it and then the Japan below. And we just talked about it earlier in the video. So that, that'll that help me out. There's like a little ladybug on the apple. So it's an apple tree. Oh my goodness. So you might see a $20 sticker here. I did not pay $20, I paid 10. And you might be wondering, how did you pay 10 on the first day when it's marked 20? Did you screw someone over? Yes, no I did not. What I did is I said, see this crack right here? Mm, I know, here we go. I said, it's cracked right here, did you know that? He said, oh no, it is. I said, what will you do for the crack? He said, how about 10? I said, yes. So I bought it for $10. Would I have paid 20? No, I would not have. What will I sell it for? I do not know yet. My initial idea is somewhere around $40 at least. If it sits for the longest time and never sells, I really don't care. How about them apples on that tree? I know I'm not that clever. Okay, so I wanna show you another cool elephant. And this is a cool, you're a cool elephant. I want you to know that. So it's a teapot right here. This is a wonderful, uh, enameled moriage but what it is and it's actually marked on the bottom with the M in the heart Japan the M that's very similar to Morimoso Morimoso Morimura 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 who's Morimura so Morsi Morimura so it's Japan hand painted and it's very fun this right here is going to sell for about a thousand no it's going to sell for about 70 about 70 dollars or so with shipping included it's very unique um by itself without shipping it's worth like 40 50 dollars easily it's just very cool it's a teapot it's old it's just japan we're talking the 20s or the 30s uh, one tiny chip, I have to break the news, I know. There is a tiny chip right on the inner side, which is strange. It's on the inside of his trunk, right on the top there. It could be colored in. You'd never see it again. You might see it again. So, it's very unique, very cool. We are almost done with this haul, just so you know. This here is a wonderful little planter filled with crappy roses. <laughs> this here is a wonderful planter. So it is not marked with a maker, that's unfortunate. It is solid, it feels kind of solid. More so than the other plant, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Royal Cope, it's not the same. You're an imposter. So that's Royal Copley. This is something else. This, this looks better. This is better made to me. So I wonder who made it. I'll have to look that up. If I figure it out, I'll put it right here. But um, $6, I collect Ivy stuff. I feel like I say this all the time, but I really don't collect Ivy stuff. I mostly collect Franciscan Ivy, Franciscan Ivy. But um, 
I'm starting to branch out and get this stuff. So what is wrong with me? $6, I did pay it, I know. Okay, this here was $6 and I did, I did pay $6. It's very mid-century looking. It has this wonderful turquoise blue on the inside here with this gold spaghetti no string art stringy stringy string art gold all over it so it has that retro appeal to it and it has the caddy you could put um uh plants it's a planter in there so it has the diamond on the outside and it is not marked in any other way but i did pay six dollars uh it's i think it's worth every bit of fifteen dollars plus shipping to be honest it needs to be washed all of this stuff needs to be washed still, so that's a thing. But um, yeah, just two more things. They're tins, by the way. This tin here was a impulse buy. It has this kind of basket weave with the colors on it. It just looks so retro to me. I could not pass it by for a dollar. And I don't know who it's made by, I don't care. So I'll have to double check those. See, if, if that was like maybe a what what could have been in this it was a it was an item right they sold something in here like no not coffee i don't think um hmm do we know because i don't what could you put in here nuts nuts mixed nuts what do we think do we think there were some nuts in that can so I also bought this here it's a set now you might be thinking that looks familiar and you'd be right so I bought one of these just one of them months ago I don't remember when but this is a set of three it would have been a set of it would have had four originally so we've got this little guy right here I paid twenty dollars for these I know what is wrong with me the one that I had before didn't even sell. Oh gosh, I wonder if the one I have in the booth is the one I'm missing. Conspiracy? I am a mess. So it's a set of three right now, and they are, I'm not sure who made them, but they have the little sailboats on there. Pay $20. I think there's more money in them to be made. So... When I bought the one, I put it in the booth. The one that I have in there, I think I put like 20 bucks on for the one tin can. I, it's around this size or it's this size or it's, in the, or it's between, which would be fantastic if it was right in the middle of those. So if it's the one in between, I'm likely to pull it out of the booth, put them all together and list them online for like $40 plus shipping. I don't think I'll have a problem selling them at all because people love nautical things. They have the bursts of red on top. They're, so they're navy and red and cream. Very 40s looking. They're probably from the 40s. So, or early 50s. So that's really cool. But with that, I better not linger too much. That was everything. And I did pay up as you noticed, as you've, as I told you. So hopefully you like the video. Maybe you see something you want to buy. <laughs> no, um, I am really happy with this haul video. I am so happy to be able to buy this sort of quality of stuff. I haven't been able to find it in a while. And so yes, I did pay. Um, well, let's not get over exaggerated here. I paid $3 on some of those, but $10 on one, $10 on another. Mm, that's not really what we do. But I did it. So, I mean, all in all, I'm pretty happy with what I was able to get. And um, all in all, really just a great time. So thanks for what, you know, the more I look at these, they are kind of cool. Like somebody fashioned these in a way. They're like beaded or something. No, they're not beaded. They're just plastic. That's so strange. Well, with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.